Prince Harry was reportedly seen visibly shaken as news emerged of Oprah Winfrey facing intense legal questioning regarding their infamous 2021 interview. New evidence has surfaced suggesting potential inconsistencies in several key claims made during the bombshell broadcast that once rocked the British monarchy to its core. The proceedings reveal that the Duke of Sussex, now increasingly isolated in his Montecito mansion, has been watching his carefully constructed narrative unravel thread by thread. The once confident prince, who boldly stepped away from royal duties citing media persecution and family neglect, now finds himself at the centre of a growing credibility crisis. The legal team representing various interested parties has reportedly assembled a comprehensive dossier of evidence that challenges multiple assertions made during the interview. Most notably, the claim about secret wedding vows exchanged three days before the official ceremony which was later debunked by the Archbishop of Canterbury himself, has become a focal point of the investigation. Harry appears to be coming to terms with the gravity of the situation, reveals a former palace aide speaking on condition of anonymity. The bravado we saw during the Oprah interview has been replaced by a palpable anxiety. This isn't just about protecting his reputation anymore, it's about facing serious questions about credibility and intent. The investigation has reportedly focused on several key aspects of the interview, including the explosive allegations about discussions regarding Archie's skin color, claims about security provisions, and statements about financial support. Legal experts have been meticulously cross-referencing these claims against documentary evidence, official correspondence, and testimony from palace officials. Oprah Winfrey, whose reputation as a celebrated interviewer spans decades, now faces uncomfortable questions about the level of fact-checking and due diligence conducted before airing such sensitive allegations. Sources indicate that during recent legal questioning, Winfrey appeared notably defensive when pressed about the verification processes employed by her production team. The timing couldn't be worse for Prince Harry, who has been struggling to maintain his public image following a series of controversial public appearances and statements. His recent memoir Spare had already raised eyebrows with its numerous contested claims, and this latest development threatens to further erode his credibility. What we're seeing is the potential unravelling of a narrative that was carefully constructed to position Harry and Meghan as victims of an uncaring institution, comments royal expert Victoria Howard. If these new allegations prove true, it could fundamentally alter how the public views not just the interview, but the entire saga of their departure from royal duties. The legal scrutiny has apparently sent tremors through the Sussexes' camp, with insiders reporting increased tension between Harry and his team of advisers. The prince, who once spoke confidently about speaking his truth, now faces the possibility that some of that truth might not withstand legal examination. Perhaps most damaging are the emerging questions about the couple's claims of racism within the royal family. New evidence suggests that the controversial conversations about Archie's potential appearance may have been taken out of context or misrepresented. Palace sources maintain that such discussions, if they occurred at all, were part of broader conversations about heritage and lineage, common in any family anticipating a new arrival. The investigation has also cast doubt on Harry's assertions about being financially cut off by his family. Banking records and official documents apparently show a different picture, one where substantial financial support continued well into the couple's transition period. Harry seems to be realizing that emotions and perception, when presented as fact, can lead to dangerous territory, notes legal analyst Jonathan Matthews. The distinction between how one feels about a situation and the objective reality of that situation is now coming under intense scrutiny. The Prince's supporters argue that the essence of his complaints about royal life remains valid, regardless of any potential discrepancies in specific details. However, critics counter that credibility in such matters is binary. Either you're truthful or you're not. As the legal process continues, the wider implications for both Harry and Oprah remain uncertain. For Winfrey, whose journalistic integrity has rarely been questioned throughout her illustrious career, this represents an unusual challenge. For Harry, it could mark a turning point in his post-royal journey, one that might force a re-evaluation of his approach to public discourse. Palace insiders suggest that senior royals are watching the developments with concern rather than satisfaction. Despite the strained relationships, there remains a desire to minimize damage to the institution and, by extension, to Harry himself. However, the truth, as they say, must prevail. The controversy has also sparked a broader debate about the nature of truth-telling in high-profile interviews and the responsibilities of both interviewer and interviewee. Media experts point out that emotional impact shouldn't come at the expense of factual accuracy, especially when dealing with allegations that can damage reputations and institutions. As Harry faces this latest crisis, questions arise about his future path. 
Having built much of his new identity around the narrative presented in the Oprah interview, any significant discrediting of that narrative could have far-reaching consequences for his public role and commercial ventures. The prince now faces a crucial decision, concludes royal commentator Richard Fitzgerald. He can either double down on his previous statements and risk further scrutiny, or acknowledge that some aspects of the interview might have been colored by emotion rather than fact. Either way, his credibility hangs in the balance. The Oprah interview, which aired in March 2021, was a watershed moment for the royal family. Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, made a series of explosive allegations, including claims of racism, neglect, and a lack of support from the royal institution. The interview painted a picture of a family in crisis, with Harry and Meghan as the victims of a cold and unfeeling monarchy. However, recent developments have cast a shadow over the couple's narrative. New evidence, including leaked emails, text messages, and witness testimonies, suggests that some of the claims made during the interview were, at best, exaggerated, and at worst, outright fabrications. The revelations have sparked a media frenzy, with pundits and royal watchers alike questioning the motives behind the couple's decision to go public with their grievances. At the center of the storm is Prince Harry, who has long been a polarizing figure within the royal family. Once a beloved prince, known for his military service and charitable work, Harry has increasingly become a lightning rod for controversy. His decision to step back from royal duties, coupled with his public criticisms of the monarchy, has divided public opinion and strained his relationships with his family. The new evidence, which has been obtained by a team of investigative journalists, paints a very different picture of the events leading up to the Oprah interview. According to the leaked documents, Harry and Meghan were not as isolated and unsupported as they claimed. In fact, the couple received significant financial and emotional support from the royal family, including access to mental health resources and security personnel. One of the most damning pieces of evidence is a series of emails exchanged between Harry and senior members of the royal household. The emails, which date back to the months leading up to the interview, show that Harry was in regular contact with his family and was actively involved in discussions about his future role within the monarchy. This directly contradicts the couple's claims that they were cut off and ignored by the royal family. In one particularly revealing email, Harry writes to his brother, Prince William, expressing his gratitude for the support he has received. I want to thank you for everything you've done for me and Meghan, Harry writes. We couldn't have made it through this without your help. This message stands in stark contrast to the couple's public statements, in which they accused the royal family of turning a blind eye to their struggles. The leaked documents also shed light on the couple's financial situation, which has been a source of much speculation. According to the evidence, Harry and Meghan were not as financially independent as they claimed. In fact, the couple received substantial financial support from the royal family, including a multi-million pound security detail and access to royal residences. This revelation has raised questions about the couple's decision to pursue lucrative media deals, including a reported $100 million contract with Netflix and a multi-million dollar book deal. Critics have accused the couple of cashing in on their royal status, while simultaneously criticizing the institution that made them famous. The new evidence has also called into question the couple's claims of racism within the royal family. During the Oprah interview, Meghan alleged that an unnamed member of the royal family had expressed concerns about the color of their son Archie's skin. This allegation sparked outrage and led to calls for an investigation into racism within the monarchy.